Well, it'll not be a happy uh, weekend for Scotty or John Ron barring uh, some major miracle, but it'll certainly not be a very happy weekend for Colin Morikawa, Tony Finau, Justin Rose, Taylor Gooch, Shane Lowry, Phil Mickelson, Justin Thomas, Denny McCarthy, and Dustin Johnson, who will all, they're all, honestly, DJ's probably home by now. Uh, because that was early this morning. It was, I mean, listen, it's Lynx Golf. This stuff kind of happens, but a lot of big names that will not be around. Brutal, man. I thought uh, I thought once DJ got it to 12 over, he'd turn on the gas and kind of make his climb back to the three over cut line and, and two holes. But Colin's weird. That has to suck. Just make he made a birdie on his last hole to get to four over the cut line at the time, which it was looking like for most of the day until midway through the afternoon. That's to suck. Thinking you made the cut with that putt and then to see the cut line and you're on the wrong side of it. But the open championship's never gonna be Colin Morikawa's major, in my opinion. I, I I've always said he's tailor made for the US Open. He got lucky, I think to win his open similar to Jordan Spieth winning his U S open at Chambers Bay. The stars kind of aligned for him and he got one of the more difficult ones to pick off for his, his skill set uh, early in his career. DJ hurts from one and done perspective. I think I'm officially out of it, which uh-huh. is a tough pill to swallow. Tony Finau. I don't know if he's going to make the Ryder cup team. He has sucked. He he has won. He has started to win golf tournaments. And at that same time, he has started to suck at major championships. It is very bizarre to me where he figures out how to win consistently down the stretch, hitting clutch shots, clutch putts, and then major championship time. He's a ghost. Justin Thomas. <laughs> I mean, I called that one. I don't need to rub it in his face anymore. Um, <laughs> But he's, what, 75th in the FedEx Cup? He's playing in at 3M, likely the Wyndham. Is he playing the 3M? Yeah, he committed. <sighs> mm-hmm. Tough scene. And, like, Zach Johnson, did you read his quotes afterwards? No. I think he's going to pick him, no matter what. So do I. No, I, I think that it barring barring Justin Thomas missing every cut and not making the playoffs and then saying, I'm not in the sh- I cannot in good conscience take a spot on this team. I withdraw myself from consideration. Unless that happens, he'll be on this team. I think you're on to something. I think that's what he needs to do. He needs to – if he, if he misses – the FedEx Cup playoffs. He should take his name out of the hat and just be a vice captain. Just no, he, he should just <laughs> stay home and figure your, you don't get to just become a vice captain because you didn't make the team. You just don't get to be part of the team. You just watch on TV like everybody else of the of except for 12 US golfers who made the team. That's what you do and it sucks and that's what you do. He can be the minister of morale over there. Um, oh yeah. JT big, big morale guy. Yeah. He'll, he'll get into those guys. Uh, but it's just, it's really bad there's, there's nothing going right for him. And I, Oh, it's such a tough spot for Zach Johnson where you go to Europe looking for your first win in three decades and you're going to take a shot. Yes, his Ryder Cup resume is stellar. You're going to take a shot on a guy who might finish like 85th on the PGA Tour this season. You can't. The whole thing would be a sham. You cannot pick a guy who in a season-long contest in which it is essentially skewed for guys like him did not get into the top third of the league completely healthy or at least healthy enough to be playing golf, you cannot pick that guy. I totally agree with you, but I am not convinced Zach Johnson <laughs> agrees with you, which is very, like, 
there's still a ton of dominoes to fall. Like if Brian Harmon wins this week, which I know is kind of pooping on his chances, he, he, like ch- chances are he does win this week. He's on the Ryder Cup team. You got Wyndham Clark on the team. You don't think Brian Harmon's on the team if he wins this week? Does everyone <laughs> who wins any event automatically get to be on the team? Like there's not enough guys. Well, Finau, Finau could easily be out. Yeah, Finau could be out. JT. JT could be out. That's Clark, two spots. Clark is in. Right now, it's pretty much Scheffler, Cantley, Xander. Those are the three guys I trust. Are I don't Brooks, even trust. Are Brooks and Bryson playing? Oh, I trust Brooks, too. Uh, Bryson, I don't know. He showed me a lot today. He showed me he looks a ton. Good. One, I think he has another new logo on his hat of his own, sure. which would be number three lifetime, going back to the Hogan cap, the new one he has on the bill, and then I think he has a new one on the side as well, which, look, any publicity is good publicity. He showed me a ton today, though. I think – I don't think Marco Simone's going to be a great course – fit for Bryson given how the Europeans like to set up their Ryder cup venues. So this is your, so this is your team here. So, so who are you taking off of this team for Brian Harmon? Okay. Okay. Scheffler, Wyndham Clark, Brooks Kepka, Xander Shoffley, Patrick Cantlay, Max Homa, Keegan Bradley, Jordan Spieth, Colin Morikawa, Cam Young, Sam Burns, Ricky Fowler. Who are you taking off that team for Brian Harmon? Sam Burns. He is a more accurate Sam Burns. Sam Burns was like the best player at the President's Cup. And he slept, he he hauled around Scotty Scheffler for th- four to three days. Yeah, and they didn't want to match. Not, not Sam Burns' fault. Uh, you can't be the best player at the President's Cup okay. and not win a match. Right. Okay, so what happens when Denny wins the 3M? Uh, you Is throw Denny thing? and you throw Brian in the octagon. Yeah. Last person out. How about, yeah, I agree. No, they should have to play 18 holes of 18 holes match play to see for the last spot. They are pretty, they're pretty much the same golfer. Yeah. Right. Just like you guys go play for it. I'd be I, down with that. I would take, yeah, I would take Harmon over Sam Burns. <sighs> Just because he, because he like sun runs at the, at the open, what's his ranking right now? Twentieth. Okay. What's Sam Burns' ranking? Eleventh. Oh, I don't know. I guess he did win the match play. <laughs> but I mean, majors are three X for points. It's a sham. <laughs> I, I I I don't know how you leave. I I, I I agree that if he wins this, he'll be on the team, but I don't think that because you won the Open, you should be on the team. Well, the same thing happened with Phil in uh, 2021. He didn't make the Ryder Cup team. Yeah, at least Brian Harmon has had a better, <laughs> a better year than Phil had. Phil had just like the random PGA win. Yeah, and there's some chatter about him being a captain's pick. <sighs> God. By the likes We're- of me. We're lucky. We're lucky that Will Zal. What if Zal Torres is like, I'm good to go. Let's go, no. baby. No, he's returning at uh at your hometown tournament, the Shriners. Yeah. yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess Brian Harmon's playing for a claret jug and a Ryder Cup spot. 